Now, looking at the um, the options that we've got here, number one, display current config. Well, obviously, we can choose number one, but there won't be anything because nothing's been configured yet. So press enter to continue. Number two is to configure our keyboards and pedal boards. Number three for our stops. Number four for our expression pedals. Number five is the handy one, check wiring for shorts. So we can do that. We just press number five and press enter. Um, and it says that the self-test results all OK. No pins are shorted. So we're good to go. We can press enter to go back to the menu. Number six is a factory reset. If we, um, you know, if you've somehow you've got all confused and got a bit lost with it and you want to start this process from scratch again, you can always do number six um, and that will clear all the configuration um, and it, you'll be starting from here again. Um, so we won't do that now. You, you get the normal kind of, are you sure you want to do it? Well, no, we don't really. So we go back to here. So what we want to do uh, is configure our keyboards and pedal boards. So that's number two. We press two. Uh, and the first thing it asks is how many manuals or keyboards do you have, including pedals? So we've got two keyboards and one pedal board. So that's three. Press three and enter. All existing keyboard configs will be erased. Continue. Yes. OK. So it now says it's configuring three keyboards. Keyboard number one, how many octave pins will be used for this keyboard? And you can have a number between one and six. So you'll remember that there were six octave lines from our two keyboards. So the answer to that question is six. The next question is, what is the lowest octave number for this keyboard? Now, um, there are ten octaves uh, numbered from zero to nine, uh, which MIDI caters for. Um, and middle C is the uh, is note 60, which is in octave number five. So we are starting two octaves below that, looking at our keyboard. So it's going to be octave number three is going to be our lowest octave number. So just to go over that again, middle C is in octave number five. So looking at our keyboard, it starts two octaves. The lowest C is two octaves below middle C. So our lowest octave is octave number three. Then the next question, what is the lowest note for this keyboard between 0 and 11? So this is the bit where you'll remember that we looked at our note um, lines, our note pins, where we connect all the wires to the um, encoder. And I said that it normally starts on C, but some keyboards start on G, um, and some start on F. So in our case, um, our keyboards start on C. So C uh, equals 0 in this case. So the answer is 0 to that question. The next question is, do your diodes face towards the common lines or away from them? So you'll remember we said when we were wiring it all up, it doesn't matter which way around you put the diodes because you can tell the encoder what you've done at a later date when you configure it. And this is the point where you do that. Um, so you can have them different directions on different keyboards, but any one keyboard, they must all be the same way on that keyboard. And we've done all of our keyboards where the diodes face away from our octave lines. And then finally, for this keyboard, um, or for these questions for this keyboard, which MIDI channel do we want this keyboard to send the data out on? And you can have any number between 1 and 16. So it's our first keyboard, so let's choose channel number 1. OK, so the next thing it asks for is which pin numbers are our octave lines connected to for this keyboard? So the valid num pin numbers are 15 to 17 and 20 to 53. You can't use numbers 18 and 19. And in fact, they don't appear on the, the interface board anyway uh, for that reason. So I have used uh, on this organ, we started at the lowest. So the first octave line was pin number 15. The second one was 16. The third one, 17. And then 20. Um, 21 and 23. So that's the first keyboard configured. That's all the information it needs to know. The second keyboard, it asks exactly the same questions. And with the exception of which pins we've used for the octave lines, it gets exactly the same answers. So how many octave pins will we use for this keyboard? There are six. The lowest octave is number three. The lowest note is number zero, which is the C. The diodes face away from our octave lines. And we'll use channel 2 for this keyboard. And then it asks us again which pin numbers the octave lines for this second keyboard are connected to. 
Um, and I've used all of the odd numbers simply because all those pins happen to be along one side of the board. Um, so this one starts at pin 25 and then 27, 29. Incidentally, if you accidentally enter a number that you've already used, so say if I put in 15, it'll tell us that that pin's already used and that we can't use that pin again because it's already been connected. So um, the next pin we've got is 31 and 33, 35. OK, so that's the second keyboard configured now. And then the third keyboard, which is our pedal board, um, a little bit different. The, well, the only difference really being how many octave pins, uh, because there are only three, um, three octave lines for our pedal board. So the answer to that is three. The lowest octave number is number three again, as the keyboards were. It's our pedal start on C, so that's zero. Our diodes face away. And we'll use MIDI channel 3. And then the usual question, which pin numbers have we used for our octave lines? Uh, well, we just carry on with the odd numbers. So it was 37, 39, and 41. So that's it. That's all our keyboards and pedal board um, program. That's all there is to it, really. Uh, so what we can do now, if we go to option number 1, it just lists how we've configured this. So if we're not sure at any point, keyboard zero, we've got six octave lines, lowest octave is number three. Our octaves start on note zero, which is a C. The diodes face away from the octave lines and it uses channel one. And then pins 15, 16, 17, 20, 21 and 23 are used for octave lines zero through five respectively. And keyboard one, keyboard two. We haven't configured any stops yet and we haven't configured any expression pedals. So press enter to continue. And the stops are the next thing to, con uh, to configure. So it's option three. Stops are configured in sets, it tells us, sometimes called divisions. Each set can have a maximum of 120 stops. Um, and that's 10 common lines. The limitation for that is the, the number um, of values that you can send uh, via MIDI is between 0 and 128. Um, so 120 sensibly is the, the highest number that we can send down one MIDI channel and we allocate one MIDI channel per set of stops or per division. So uh, how many sets of stops are you configuring for? Well, we've only got 43 stops, so um, we're, we're just configuring for one set of stops. So the answer is one. All existing sets of stops will be arrays. Well, that's fine because there aren't any yet. So stop set one, and this is very similar to what we did for the keyboard. So how many common lines are there? Well, there are four. So we've got four common lines. Do our diodes face away or towards the common lines? So it's away, exactly the same as the keyboards. Which MIDI channel do we want to assign to this stop bank? So we've used one, two, and three, so we use four. And then it asks us for the pins that we've used for our common lines. So carrying on our um, our theme of the even numbers, I used pins 43, and I used 45, 47, and 9, but I actually made a mistake, and I got the middle two swapped round. So the next pin for the for the next um, the next common line is actually 47, then the next one is 45, and the last one is 49. So that's how easy it is. If you do wire something up backwards, as long as you tell the encoder that you've done it, it doesn't matter. You don't have to go back and start changing wires around. You just have to know what you've done, make a note of it as you go along, and then tell the encoder when we program it up here exactly what you've done, and it will all work just fine. So that's the last question for that. So now if we look at our config again, display current config number one, it shows us our keyboards, and it also shows us our stops. So everything starts at, at number zero, by the way. So stop set zero, four common lines, diodes face away. It's going to use channel four. Those are the pins that we're using. Um, so that's good to go. The final thing that we have to configure is for our swell pedal. So that's option four on here. Configure expression pedals, number four. How many expression pedals will be used to this or for this organ? Uh, we've only got one. So that's all we need to put in. And um, it tells us that pedals must be configured in order, starting at A0. So you'll remember on the interface board along the top edge, there are eight um, 
uh, inputs for the different pedals, uh, and you, you can't kind of configure pedal number three and then pedal number five and then pedal one. You have to start at the beginning. So on pin one, it's asking us which pedals configured to, uh, connected to pin one and what channel do we want to use um, for that pedal. So we've only got one. It's on pin one, and we are going to use the next available channel. So we've used one, two, three for our keyboards and pedal boards. We use channel four for our stops. So we're going to use channel five um, for our uh, swell pedal. You could use any channel you want between 1 and 16. It really doesn't matter um, because we'll tell Hawk to work when, when we're using that later uh, which channels we've used and, and everything will just work. So number 5. So that's that. So now if we do display current config number 1 it shows us the full configuration for the whole organ. So it says we've got three, config, three keyboards configured. Keyboard 0 with six octave lines, etc. Keyboard one with six octave lines. Keyboard two, which is our pedals, with three octave lines. It tells us we've got one set of stops, which is stop set number zero, four common lines. It shows us the pins for those, and it tells us we've got one expression pedal, which is on line A0 and MIDI channel number five. And it says press enter to continue.